In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a simple line drawing that you've done in Adobe Illustrator and show you some of the techniques that I used to colorize my drawing and give it a little extra flair. I'm going to show you now how to colorize a line drawing that you've made in Illustrator. If you've used the brush tool, the blob brush, the regular brush, the pen tool, it doesn't matter. I kind of used a combination of different things to make this line drawing. One thing you need to keep in mind before you do this trick is that any path that you want filled in with a separate color, using this trick, it needs to be closed. So for example, like these circles here, those are closed. So maybe I can turn those a different color easily but little circles like this that aren't closed, they're just gonna get filled in with whatever color I make this octopus tentacle. So keep that in mind. I don't mind because I want the style of my art to look a certain way and I don't mind if it does that, but keep that in mind. Okay, so let's get started. So you need to have your line drawing in, colored in with, you know, black. So notice how when I click on this part of it, it's saying that it's filled with black and the stroke is none, but there's certain parts that I added on later where you can see it's filled none and the stroke is black. So before we do this next step, you need to make sure that you have it so that all your paths, because this is just a path now, are converted so that they're filled in with black. So the way you do that, I'm gonna go ahead and just select everything to make sure I don't miss any of them and go to Object, Path, and I'm gonna say Outline Stroke. So now anything that was a stroke is now filled in with a solid color. And then I can go over to Pathfinder and click on this Unite. And there we go. So now everything I have, if I do it on the uh, preview mode, you can see that I have no paths left. Everything is just like a solid closed object. All right, so to fill this in, instead of painstakingly using the brush tool and coloring it all in, you can kind of do this trick here I'm about to show you. I'm going to move this over on the gray area so you can really see, see it working. So I have my outline. I'm gonna draw a rectangle around everything. I'm gonna make this a white rectangle. And I'm gonna go Object, Arrange, Send to Back. And now I'm gonna select all of it. Make sure I have my outlines and my rectangle. Go back to the Pathfinder and this time choose Divide. Now what that did is you can get your Direct Selection tool and click on each segment of the drawing. So now I can just throw that away. I don't need, need that. And then I can delete these other little areas that I don't want, that are not part of my octopus. Okay, so now I'm ready to start coloring. So notice how anything I want to have colored, I can just click on it now and it's its own it's its own little, you know, piece that you can colorize in the swatches. So I'm going to make this green and I'm going to do the rest of this off camera, I think, so that you don't have to watch me colorize everything. And then I'm going to come back and show you a little trick that you can use some tricks that you can use for doing some shading. All right, so now I have all the pieces colored in on my drawing. I'm going to show you how to add some more detail and shadows. You don't have to do this, but I think it's kind of a cool trick that looks really good. So I'm going to get my direct selection tool and I'm going to click on one of my segment, segments here, the head, and I'm going to go to Object, Object, Path, Offset Path. And this number here, I would, I'm gonna put, at, I guess three works fine. And what it did is it made a smaller version of that. So let me make that a different color so you can actually see what it did. So you see how it left the background, the darker green, but then it made another segment of it, the lighter green. And I think that kind of gives it a really cool style. So that's something that you can try. I'll do it on these legs too. Object, path, offset path. And then I'm going to fill them with another color that's lighter. So you keep doing that. I'm not going to do this whole drawing that way, but if you want to try that, that is something that you can experiment with. 
So the next thing I want to show you is another way to make some darker areas and lighter areas for shadows and highlights. So I'm going to select this lighter green area that I made earlier and I'm going to go over here and click these three little lines and look for the knife tool and it looks like this little saw right here. So I'm going to click on the knife tool and I'm going to put like a lighter color at the top of his head. So I'm just going to take this knife tool and I'm going to draw kind of this shape here on the very top of his head. And what I did is I made a slice of that path there so I can go back in and make this even lighter. I'll try it on a couple other parts so I can show you how it looks. Get the knife tool again. Make another highlight right here. And get the direct selection tool and click on that new little path that it made. And make that a lighter color. So another thing you can do to add some extra shadows and details to your artwork is just to go back and use either any of the brush tools, the blob brush, the paint brush, the pencil, you can even use the pen tool. Like let's say I would like to put some gray shadow on the eyeball. You can just get the pen tool and draw in some extra shapes that way too. All right, and the cool thing about the pen tool is if you don't get it quite where you want to, you can always go back in and get the direct um, selection tool and click on one of your anchor points and move it. So I've added a lot of details off camera and I still want to show you a couple other ways that you can add some shadows and highlights and stuff to your artwork that's also very easy. So in this case here, I kind of want to darken this area right here. So what you can do is you can still take the pen tool and draw some shapes. Doesn't have to follow inside any lines. And let's make this like a dark, dark green. What you can do is go in the transparency window, which is over here window, transparency, it's like Photoshop layers, and you can just put like that on darken. So that's another way you can add some shadows. I think that is a little bit too dark, so you can always change the opacity a bit. So that gives it some extra depth. So yeah, you don't always have to just use the scissors and cutting out. You can still use the pen tool and any of your brushes that you want and still just make paths. That's another way that you can add some extra detail to your art. So I'm going to put this on darken, lower the opacity a bit. I kind of don't like how that looks like a straight line, so I'm going to get my direct selection tool and move some of my paths around. So I just went ahead and added a few details with some brush, with the brush tool, blob brush tool to make some little dots. I made a shadow with the uh, pen tool, just a quick easy shape. I made it the transparency darken and lowered the opacity. And I did a lot of my shadows that way. You can see like this whole segment here. It's just a darker green color. I put it on multiply and lowered the opacity. So that's a really quick way to do some shadow details is to just make a, a shape that's rough you know like with the pen tool and just lower the opacity and put it on multiply and you can do the same thing with highlights you can make more highlights and just keep it on lighten instead of darken so i decided to add a little bit more to my drawing um, added a gradient background i added some more shadows and now i want to kind of do this little vapor trail of paint coming around the octopus so i use the pen tool to kind of give me a guideline and I put that on another layer here and then on this layer here I'm just using the blob brush and I'm using my tablet to just draw some thick and thin lines so it kind of has that cool 
style to it so I'm pressing hard sometimes and then I'm going out and pressing thinner and I'm just going to kind of follow this um, pen guideline that I made and make sure that I close everything if I leave any open open paths like that it will not fill in at the end so make sure if you're doing this that you go back in and touch up any areas that aren't closed Now I have my little vapor trail coming out of the paint can. I have it on this separate layer here. I made sure that everything was closed, all these uh, paths. So I'm going to select everything that I just did. Uh, this time you can see I have no strokes. Everything's just filled in with black because I used the blob brush only. So I don't need to, to do what I did the first time, which was the path outline stroke. So I don't need to do that. Everything is already an outlined stroke and I'm ready to go ahead and just draw a rectangle and I'm going to fill this with white and I'm going to say object arrange send to back and I'm going to select everything again and go to pathfinder and choose divide and then get my direct selection tool and click off that background all right now I have everything in just in white. So I'm going to go in off camera and maybe just add some little shadows and stuff to my uh, vapor trail there, but that's kind of done the same way that the, the main part of your line drawing is. Don't be afraid to just go back and add extra little details like that. It really takes your drawing to the next level when you do that. 